Sir? What? what? Are we being too literal? No, you fool. We're following orders. We were told to comb the desert, so we're combing it. Found anything yet? Nothing yet, sir! How about you? Not a thing, sir! What about you guys? We ain't found shit! What's going on, my beautiful DC brothers and sisters? It's your boy, Truth 31. Hit like, subscribe for all that DC goodness in that face, neck, and chest. And it's another day where Warner Brothers has not released the official numbers for Zack Snyder's Just League. Instead, they've released this, an HBO Max streaming, uh, streaming share, weekly percent share of time spent with streaming services among U.S. television panel numbers. Okay, so we have Wonder Woman 1984, it's, it, it, uh, its debut, okay. We have Judas debut, okay, in February. And we have Godzilla vs. Kong debut, April. Okay, steady numbers, okay, pretty solid. Uh, where's Zack Snyder's Just League? I don't see that shit anywhere. And we know Zack Snyder's Just League broke records all around the world. But instead, Warner Brothers said, without providing numbers, God Godzilla vs. Kong had a larger viewing audience than any other film or shown on HBO Max since launch. Warner Brothers said, without providing numbers. Basically saying, hey, take our word for it. Uh, Godzilla vs. Kong was the biggest thing to hit HBO Max in our streaming service. And it rose. We got many subscriptions based on that. Based on Wonder Woman, based on Judas and the Black Messiah. But strangely enough, Zack Snyder's Justice League is oddly missing from this. What are you kidding me, Warner Brothers? Get this nonsense out of my face, bro. <laughs> this is bullshit. Come on now, Warner Brothers. Who are you fooling? Who are you fooling? Get out of here with this nonsense. And this, uh, I saw this from a Zebra Fett. Uh, shout out to Zebra Fett. It's awesome. And this, this is the accurate representation. Now, now, I know this is fake. This is not real. But for two seconds, I thought, wait a minute. Is this real? <laughs> because this, this is accurate. And I, and I know this is not a, a real uh, stat. But come on, we all know this is true. We all know. That's why Warner Brothers are so afraid of showing the real numbers because they don't want to look foolish because they messed up. They messed with a Zack Snyder's Just League. They gave us that bullshit Just League and it bombed. And we all know Zack Snyder's Just League did not bomb. So release the numbers already. What are you afraid of? And shout out to uh, Gerard of Snyderverse who's been doing the Lord's work over there, you know, really uh, championing, you know, the re hashtag Restore Snyderverse and, the, and for the fans. And he's right. Zack Snyder's Just has broken streaming records on HBO Go and many other countries such as Canada, France, Russia, India, Italy, among others, and the premiere day HBO Max server crashed. It crashed despite it being released during midnight. Come on now. What does that tell you? If, if servers are crashing all around the world in many different countries, then hmm, one has to think that the Snyderverse is a massive success, correct? Come on, Warner Brothers, get your head out of your asses, bro. Who are you fooling, bro? Who are you fooling? Oh, my God, bro. I, I, I say this time and time again. Warner Brothers are being run by Simple Jacks. You know Simple Jack from fucking Tropic Thunder? That's who's running Warner Brothers right now. And Anne Sarnoff, a.k.a. Granny Goodness, a.k.a. the fucking bitch looks like fucking Hitler's daughter, said, no, we're not going to fucking um, work on David Ayer's Suicide Squad. No, you're not getting the Snyderverse. So it's not happening. Zack Snyder's Justice League part, part 2 and Part 3 will not be released uh, theatrically. Bitch, if you don't get out of my face with that nonsense. So what are we supposed to watch, huh? Bad Wheels, Blue Beetle. Are we supposed to watch that bullshit instead? <laughs> Bro, this is going to cause so much division among the fans. Because HBO Max, and I know some people are losing faith with Jason Kalar, but don't lose faith. Don't. What makes you so sure? Face, Alfred. Face. I truly believe the reason Jason Kalar has been so has been so silent is because he's working with Zack Snyder and uh, and, and just you know trying to uh, figure out how to make this happen on, on HBO Max and how to make the Snyderverse go on HBO Max. And I feel like H I feel like DC needs to be like Marvel in the sense of DC needs their own studio away from Warner Brothers and let you know fucking let Jim Lee let Zack Snyder uh, handle it. Why not? Why, like, let's get creative people who know what they're doing, who love 
these characters who love the IP run uh, DC Studios and, and let Warner Brothers do whatever the hell they're doing with, uh, with the Bat Wheels and Blue Beetle and uh, Shazam 2s and whatever the fuck. <laughs> let them handle that nonsense and let, you know, Jim Lee uh, handle the, the properties that we want to see. The Snyderverse, the, the Batman v. Death Joke, the, the Justice League Part 2 and Part 3, all that good stuff. Cyborg series. Let's get that going. And don't lose faith, people. Keep hashtagging Restore the Snyderverse. Keep watching Zack Snyder's Justice League. Because I truly believe in my heart that Jason Kalar has listened and, and things are happening uh, in, in the background that we don't know about. But uh, again, just don't lose faith. Don't lose hope. Always keep watching Zack Snyder's Justice League. All right. So uh, that's going to be it. My DC brothers and sisters, hit like, subscribe and share. If you like my DCU content, let me know in the comments down below. Do you agree with me? Do you not agree with me? Uh, what do you think about Warner Brothers hiding the numbers? <laughs> do you believe that they're scared like I am? Uh, let me know in the comments down below. As always, hope you guys be safe and truth out.